Now, in our continuing quest to understand what is slope, we are going to look at a line that represents something from real life. Remember, slope is a number, and slope measures the rate of change of a line. So let's look at a line that represents something real. This green line describes the movement of a green car. The x-axis is in hours, and the y-axis is in kilometers. So let's look at some grid points on this line. So grid points are points where the line hits the grid. What's the first such point? Zero, zero. What does that point describe? That point says, after zero hours, green car has gone zero kilometers. Not very exciting. Let's look at another point. Here's our grid point, 1, 20. That means after one hour, the green car has gone 20 kilometers. Here's another grid point. It says, after two hours, green car has gone 40 kilometers. One more point. This point is 3, 60. So after three hours, green car has gone 60 kilometers. What can we conclude about green car? Every hour, one hour, it went 20. The next hour, it went 20 more. The next hour, it went 20 more. So what do we say in real life about green car? In real life, we say green car is traveling at a constant rate or a constant speed. And what is that rate? 20 kilometers per hour. 20 kilometers per hour. That's a rate. What do we say about green line in mathematics? We say the slope of green line is 20. The rate of change is 20. So the slope of green line is 20. So 20 kilometers per hour in real life means a line with a slope of 20.